Well, if you've been watching TV like everybody else in the world, and you've spent at least part of your time glued to the television set, watching this video war, and as real as we've known that was, it was the image of Iraqi uh, soldiers trying to escape from Kuwait City up the highway to Basra, and the Allies, the Americans and their friends coming out of the air and slaughtering them, turning the highway into a highway of death. It put to rest finally that, uh, that myth that we were all raised with from the Western movies, you know, that the good guys never shoot anybody in the back, that that's cowardly. I thought that we would uh, talk by phone with a young Palestinian filmmaker. He's making a film called Homage by Assassination. His name is Eli Suleiman Lemie. Just dial him right up here on the air. Um, not sure what's going on here, why this isn't going through. Um, let me give it another try. folks once again listener sponsored radio technically breaking down let me try the call once more um tell you the truth i don't know what it is why this call's not going through um Eli, i'm sorry i know you're sitting here waiting <laughs> but i can't get through to you
الكل تمام اه فش شيء كان في خط طبحي يلا باي اه ما عاد اخر وحده ام يوم القيامه اجل فلسطينيه عند الله قال لي يلا يلا على جهنم قال لي سالوا ملاك ليش؟ شو ليش؟ ارحب ورمي حجار وعرفات وقت الابرياء يلا على جهنم قال له الملاك اذا حرام عليك هدول طول عمرهم ماكلين خوازي وتقتلوا وتشحشطوا ومات منهم صبروا وشتيلا طب يلا على الجني جاء ملاك ثاني ميو جني ورهاب وعرفات ورمي حجار وقت الابرياء قال الله طب انا عارف ابنوا لهم خيام يلا لا بحكي معه باي
Dear Lee, thanks for the flowers. I finally got through to my family. My brother insisted that nothing serious happened. The scud hit our neighborhood, he joked, because it smelled the amba. As for my relatives in Baghdad, I have no idea. This war has only intensified my schizophrenia. As an Arab Jew, the dilemma of my identity has become almost dizzying. Most of my family was born and raised in Baghdad and now lives in Israel, the U.S., England, and Iraq. When my grandmother arrived in Israel in the early 50s, she was convinced that the European Jews she encountered who looked, spoke, and ate so differently were actually European Christians. Jewishness for her generation was associated with Middle Easternness. My grandmother, who lives in Israel and still speaks only Arabic, had to be taught to speak of us as Jews and them as Arabs. We Iraqi Jews have lived in Mesopotamia since the Babylonian exile. Yet, once in Israel, we were stripped of our history and forced to repress our nostalgia. We even came to question our own identity. For years, my sister dyed her hair blonde. My uncles and cousins have been arrested and beaten when they were mistaken for Palestinians. The dream of one people reunited in their ancient promised land has led us to abandon our affectionate memories of life before Israel. Yet, 40 years after we were forced to leave Baghdad, my family and I still long for its sights and sounds. My anxiety and pain during a scud attack on Israel does not cancel out my anguish for the victims of the bombing of Iraq. Yours, Ella.
among you who is without sin, let him cast the first stone. Oh, no.